Kara Delevingne, I don't really know how to pronounce that last name, sorry, went to rehab at $50,000 a month celeb fave Cirque Lodge, which is kind of crazy to me, like 50 k a month. Now, I don't know if she actually spent 50 k a month, but can you imagine spending 50 k a month for anything? Like, that is so much money, right? Like, $50,000 a month for, like, oh, how long? Like, how long was she in here? Late last year, and then she left in late January. So probably like a few months. So let, let's say like $150,000, $200,000 or whatever. Still, that's so much money. So supermodel and actress Kara Delevingne checked into the Cirque Lodge rehab following concerns about her bizarre behavior and fears she would end up you know, gone. The British star was at the luxury, luxurious Celebrity Favorite Treatment Center in Utah for nearly a month. Oh, no. She, okay, so she was only there for a month. So, okay, spent 50K, maybe. Page has exclusively confirmed. So he sort of said that the 30-year-old who just revealed in Vogue that she has been in treatment for addiction has been getting on well in recovery. The source said Kara spent some of December and most of January at Circle Lodge. She seemed to be doing very well. She was participating well with the program and the group meetings. We were told that the model was there for substance abuse issues and checked into a private room late last year. She left in late January when she shot the April Vogue cover. And Circle Lodge has reportedly hosted famous faces like Lindsay Lohan, Eva Mendez, Mary Kate Olsen, Demi Moore, Carson Dunst, Chris Klein, and Richie Sambora. I mean, hopefully she's doing better. The facility treats drug and alcohol addiction as well as emotional and mental health issues. While prices vary, it can cost from $20,000 to $50,000 for a month-long stay. Situated in the Rocky Mountains, the lodge includes an art therapy room, recording studio, gym, hair salon, and massage space, plus an indoor climbing center and horse arena for equine therapy, or equine therapy, however you pronounce it, horses. Davine had sparked concerns over erratic behavior at Van News Airport in Los Angeles last September. The paper town star was pictured heading to the airport with her yellow-socked feet hanging out of a car window, and after reportedly arriving two hours late, she boarded Jay-Z's private jet, then deboarded around 45 minutes later. It wasn't clear if she was asked to leave or if the plane missed its time, plane missed its time slot for takeoff. A jittery and white-haired Delvine, dressed in socks, a Britney Spears t-shirt, and jogging pants, was then seen dropping her phone multiple times while taking a call on the tarmac. So while rep for Delvine didn't comment, the footage left fans worried about the only murders in the building actress. What's going on with Kara Delvine? I feel so sad for her. I guess that's like a heart emoji thingy. Where one fan with another asking, will someone please check on Kara for the love of God? It is then reported that Kara's friends had grown so concerned that they were desperate for her to go to rehab. And sources told TMZ that the supermodel's pals were worried she was struggling with a combination of mental health and substance abuse issues and her rep didn't come at the time. Friend and co-star Margaret Robbie was seen living the model's Los Angeles home, looking distressed, and Robbie later denied she was crying, explaining she had something in her eye. Kara has confessed to dabbling with drugs in the past, and in March last year, she was seen acting really drunk at a party in New York. Page Six was told the Vogue cover girl was on stage the whole evening, and her dance moves were crazy. At one point, she was doing what can only be considered a jig. She dropped her phone. She headbanged. She was making all the wild faces that made her so famous. A spy told P6. The English model just opened up to Vogue about checking herself into treatment for substance abuse issues after realizing she was in a bad place. At that point, there was a lot of people who were very worried, understandably so. She said in a video published Wednesday. But I wasn't really worried, though. 
but that is the nature of the disease. That is what addiction is. She told the magazine she needed to enter long-term treatment instead of subscribing to a quick fix, such as a week retreat, that she would not fully do. All I knew is if I was continuing to go down the road I was, I would either end up dead or like doing something really, really stupid, the Suicide Squad actress shared. Karen noted that she celebrated her first sober holidays this past December with her girlfriend singer Leah Mink Manson, and she's now four months sober and continues in ongoing treatment. Interesting. Let's see. 30 days, ha, if you walk a mile into the forest, you can't walk out with a few steps. The irrefutable research shows that rehabs with the longest stay times have the highest rates of long-term sobriety. I went to a local hospital for rehab. I got pills for alcohol withdrawal. Many blood tests, shakes, stopped after three days, and I checked out, against doctor's recommendations. Insurance paid them 25 grand. Nurse said I would be back 17 years later. I still have not had a drop of alcohol, no AA, or counseling either. Congrats to you, T. Dot. Laugh. Sandra Morris, best of luck to her. At least she's being honest. This person says, I guess this is the how it is when you're famous, but I strongly believe she should not be made to interview or publicly discuss her recovery, treatment, or sobriety this soon. To each their own, but she is already under tremendous pressure. Nothing but good wishes for her future. And the thing is, I feel like since this is like a kind of like an addiction with like drugs, right? I feel like you would have to have help for a long period of time, right? Because you might not only just be addicted to the drug use, you might be addicted to the habit of using, right? Or whatever. Because like, you know, some people who like get addicted to cigarettes, they're addicted to cigarettes because of the nicotine, but they're also addicted to the action of like constantly doing something every single day, multiple times a day, which is like the whole like smoking the cigarette. So maybe she also needs to find something else to put like her time into because she could have basically been doing this when she was bored at home alone, right? And she was using it to like entertain herself in a sense, right? That's also a possibility. I don't know, but uh, yeah, definitely got to be very careful with that sort of stuff. Man, definitely not good, not good.